welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Actually, it's more like early mo uh, late morning right now. It's about 11 a.m. on Friday morning. Uh, my name is Hoon. Uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Okay. So this afternoon, uh, this morning, uh, we are. I'm going to compare kind of a couple of different comparisons. I'm going to be comparing the high uniformity birds versus the gorilla gear, the 64 millimeter black birds. Okay. So I have, let me put you guys get closer. So, so this is the piece, uh, DF 64 P. Okay. P stands for premium, uh, from, uh, espresso outlet. So this is the P 64. Okay. From optional Lagoon mini. Uh, I mean, their Lagoon Mini is just wonderful, wonderful uh, coffee grinder. I had it for, well, it's been a while, okay, about a year now. So this one, P64 with uh, DF64 with uh, DF64 pit with uh, this Gorilla Gear birds in it, I had it for about a couple of weeks. And then, uh, according to uh, John from Gorilla Gear, it does not require a lot of seasoning to it because they are already somewhat pre-seasoned uh, from the factory. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, obviously the uh, P64, I've been using it for a while, so it's been seasoned pretty nicely. So this afternoon I'm going to compare. It's, it's not a grinder comparison sake. It's more like the bird comparison. Okay. Because they're both uh, 64 millimeter high uh, HEO, the high uniformity birds versus the gorilla gears. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to open up, but uh, I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what the birds look like. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, hold on here. Let me flip the camera. So, this is. The high uniformity uh, grinder. I think I have some pictures. Hold on. So this is better views. Here we go. As you can see, even though it's a high uniformity, so so this is a, a breakers. Okay. So we got some uh, we got some breakers there. We got one, two, three. What I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe like eleven breakers, eleven or ten. Okay, compare two. So this uh, this is the SSP high uniformity. If I'm going to take you to this bird here, so this is the uh, Gorilla Gear, uh, the black birds. Okay, and also you can see the breaker as well. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve breakers. Uh, I mean, that's why I thought it's gonna be a fun comparison, okay, to compare the high uniformity versus the Gorilla Gear birds. Uh, the breaker will give you that, you know, initial break, give you a nice the uniformity on your coffee grinder. So we'll see. I'm really excited to uh, dialing in, uh, dialed in the coffee here. So this, I'm, let's see, I'm dialing in this coffee from Ethiopia. I already measured out 18 grams each. So it may take a little while. Or so just, you guys just kick back, uh, join the live chat. Okay. I got nobody on the live chat right now. I think it looked like we have about 11 people watching our live stream. So just hang out with us. And I'm going to share with you, okay, it's not which bird is better, all right? I mean, they're both great birds. Uh, we are going to talk about the difference, okay? We are talking about the difference in uh, kind of coffee, the tasting notes. So let's find out, yeah. All right. Let's see here. I'm just going to put you guys a little closer. I think I'm going to start with... You know, let's start with the HU birds, okay? Let's start with the HU. Uh, comes to workflow, man, they're both pretty easy.
You know what? Here, let's do this. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Yeah. Should be better with this angle. There we go. Again, very fluffy. Uh, comes with the RPM adjustment on P64. It does not have a bellow though. Okay. Does not have bellow like uh, DF64, but I mean, I like to just tap it. That's it. And then let's do the, since we are here, let's do the P64. Okay, uh, we have uh, Joe is on live chat. If you have any question with DF64, any DF64, okay, Joe is the uh, responsible for bringing to you a uh, US. So I'm gonna shout out to Joe. Uh, actually, Joe is, I think Joe is carrying all the SSP on his websites, okay. All right, comes to coffee grinds. I mean, they're both. I mean, it looks about the same, okay. All right. I think let's start with the HU. Uh, again, my grinder setting right now, man, I'm at like, goodness, about 10, about 10, about 12 clicks on P64, of uh, DF, uh, P64, my, for me on, goodness, a DF64P, I'm at 30, 40, about 43 clicks. So it's different because P64 is made for various brewing type. DF64P is just a specialized in espresso only, okay. I mean, that is the one main difference there. Uh, that's huge because again if you are if you want to brew filter copy on df60 uh df64p you're not going to it does not go fine enough unless <clears throat> you are you have to recalibrate the grinder i'm just going to do some quick wdt All right. <clears throat> Man, okay. <clears throat> P64, I can see it's gonna be grinder size too fine. Way too fine. So uh, we're just gonna pull the shot anyway. Most likely over extracted, but see here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not fun. <clears throat> We're on nine bar pressure. Forty gram at twenty three seconds. <clears throat> okay. I got forty gram at forty three seconds. Twenty three seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my grinder. I'm just gonna go slight finer, okay? Okay. All 
All right, so let's move on to, I'm not gonna drink yet because I wanna drink uh, coffee is dialed in nicely. All right. Let's do puck prep for uh, DF64P. <clears throat> All right, comes to workflow, I mean, they're both, I mean, they're both fine, okay, and both enjoyable. Just gonna do a quick WDT here. Okay, let's take a look. Shot number two. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This the Gorilla Burst, oh, wow. <clears throat> They're way too fast. Eighteen seconds right now at 38 gram. So we know what we need to do. I got 18 seconds and 38 gram. So right now I have about 43 clicks. I need to go a little finer, okay? <clears throat> Whenever I go down, I like to start the motor. Maybe like 40, there we go. All right, so that's for the shot, folks. So this is what we're looking for. Hopefully we dialed in a second time here. So we're gonna start with the HU. Start with the HU birds. Okay. I'm just going to give you a quick WDT. Again, this is pretty fine as you can see, but so this is the Kind of like enjoyable part of dialing in. All right, here we go. So hopefully this is it. I'm just gonna quick perch. Right, folks. They look like maybe too fine. I'm at 28 seconds right now. 
about 33 I think uh, I'm okay between 25 and 30 so I think I take this shot okay I'm fine with that shot so this is the HU okay so let's walk on the uh, coffee from P64 no I'm sorry not P64 DF64 P with the gorilla gear okay I'm gonna be working a little fast here. Little loud. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, so far we try uh, twice to dialing in this uh, shots using HU birds on P64 and Gorilla gears on DF64P. Just gonna put the box screen on the top. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is shot number two on Gorilla gear. About 22 seconds there at 40 gram. <clears throat> I bet you I can go a little finer. So you got one shot is about about 10 second difference. Okay, so this is the gorilla gear. Uh, let's try anyway. Okay, let's try anyway because I'm very curious about these grinders. I mean, if something something is not right. Uh, I'm gonna dial in the gorilla gear one more time, okay? But hopefully, I'm gonna get the kind of like essence of this birds, okay? So this is the HU birds. I'm using the Ethiopia coffee beans. So hold on. So this one is <clears throat> Ethiopia G there from my buddy at Good Brothers Coffee. There, strawberry, lemon, and Floor. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Lemon, strawberry, floor. Okay. Um, kind of like the finishing with the lemon finish there. Uh, more like medium body to it. Very clean. I can definitely taste the the strawberry in the beginning and finish with the lemon. Oh, tasting this. So this is the Gorilla Gear. I'm just about to drink right now. I feel like this one was about 20, what? About 38, 38 to 40 gram with 22 second shot. Here we go. I feel like, okay. I feel like Gorilla Gear has more body to it, more body, heavy on the mouth feel. What else? Uh, you still have the, you know, I, I can still taste the lemon, strawberry, floor. Uh, with the HU birds, I feel like <clears throat> the body is not as uh, robust than Gorilla Gear. So, which means I bet you, okay, 
Uh, it's gonna be so. I bet you the gorilla birds is more close to even Casper's. Okay, my cast birds are uh, sitting right here. I bet you it should be better comparison. Okay, gorilla versus Cassie is more close to it. Again, uh, HG birds. I feel like I can taste the that separation of those tasting notes like lemon, strawberry, like kind of like flower to it. So this one is uh, is all there, but but has more body to it. It's not as clean. Okay, it's not as clear the separation. Okay, and I bet you if I, I'm gonna dial in. Even more, one more step, but uh, I, but I think I think the separation is not going to change much. Okay, it's going to be intensify the tasting notes once you dialed in just right. But I've definitely the high uniformly give you that the nice separation. That's kind of good and bad. Okay, I mean if you are drinking uh, like dark you know dark roast with you know high in chocolate tasting notes i mean i want the you know heavy on the body okay so i mean that's really good for maybe gorilla gear may shine but if you are using lighter roast if you want the separation of the tasting notes maybe you want to go with h ubers get high uniformity so again it's not which bird is better they're all different that's why we have h ubers uh, MP birds, high uh, multi-purpose birds out there. We got cast birds. Uh, John create the uh, gorilla gear black birds. What what else I'm missing? I think I heard like some other name I didn't even know. Okay, so they, they got like at least five, five sixty-four millimeter uh, birds. Uh, luckily, I have four here right now. Yep, but. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing this grinder on the bottom. So this is the DF64E. Here we go. So this is the DF64E. Uh, it's an electric version of it. So this is pretty much the same as the DF64P, but you're going to have the, the panel. Uh, it has a time indicator, so kind of like time dose. Uh, so this one comes with a regular uh, stock burrs. So also it should be fun to compare as well. I want to compare with just the plain stock burrs and see what's the difference because Okay, let me show you the stock burrs look like okay, Hold on, let me open it up So this is stock burrs Definitely different. So this one looks more like, man, kind of like between MP birds and like HU birds, right? Has a lot of breakers, but kind of like uniform breakers. And with like cast or uh, HU birds, those breakers kind of like the little gap between. So this one is more a lot more uniform. So give you that more. I don't know. So that's something uh, I'm gonna find out for you guys. Maybe we should do that sometime next week. I'm gonna be unboxing the DF60. Uh, yeah, DF64E. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna shout out to Nicola. Joe's there. We got Carl. Okay, hold on. Carl asked. Uh, uh, let's see. Thank you for the. Okay. Uh, difference between DF64. And DF64P. Okay, espresso if you're using the same birds. Okay, uh, we are talking about the range, uh, Carl. So DF64P, so this is your range. This is it right here. That's the range of your espresso. Obviously, uh, P64, they're pretty much the infinite uh, grind size you can do. I don't want to say infinite, but it's a lot. Okay, so the DF64, just plain DF64. So again, so this bird is just made for espresso. I don't know how many, I mean, let's see here. I mean, who is this grinders for, okay? If you're a coffee hobbyist, and also if you like to drink a lot of espresso, 
especially espresso all the time, all day. That is the grinder for you. If you have no interest in filtered coffee, okay. But if you are interested in filtered coffee, if you want to do both, okay, if you want to do both, I think I'm going to, I like to kind of like nudge you guys into uh, DF64, all right. Okay, hold on, watching to see the Gorilla Gear on my, yep. So anyway, so it'd be fun, fun comparison. I think maybe I should do that tomorrow. Gorilla Gear versus Cast. And also maybe Gorilla versus like even Niche Zero. Okay, Niche Grinder is like conical but, but give you a lot of body to it. This Gorilla Gear has a lot of body to it, so uh, uh, it'd be a lot of fun with the uh, fun with the cast tomorrow. Let's see here. Uh, B O from Kuwait. Is it true that SSP Unimotor is the same version of SSP Brew? Uh, answer is uh, maybe. Okay. Okay. SSP naming is they are all convoluted. Okay, because if you are looking at the, the MP birds, if you are looking at the MP birds, man, are uh, very uniform. So that's a unimotor. Okay, so this is a high uniformity, but it doesn't look. If you're looking at the birds, it, does, it doesn't look like high uniformity. But I mean, that's the how, oh, way they named it. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Joe validate validated. So yes, it is a. SSP brew is same as the unimotor, okay, according to Joe. Yeah, so, okay, uh, so it's the newer one, okay. So they used to say SSP brew, now it's a unimotor, SSP unimotor. Yeah, so they are the same version of it. Let's see here, hashtag. Shout out to hashtag. Hold on, streaming live, yep. Okay, ha hashtag live streaming is pretty blurry. Yes, yes it is. It's, it's pretty terrible. You know, I'm going to blame on my uh, connection here, guys. Okay, my internet connection. This is really shame because I own a computer shop with a terrible internet connection. I have no, I don't have a lot of options here at this location, so yeah. Because my upload speed is pretty pathetic. I think I get about five upload, okay. The five for the upload speed, so yeah, yeah, it's not the best. Hopefully, uh, my new location, if and when, I definitely have the better internet in internet connection for you guys, for sure. All right, so so let's just summarize this. We have compared the tubers, uh, HU. Versus the, the 64 millimeter SSP HU versus the uh, uh, Gorilla Gear, the Blackbirds. HU birds give you the more clarity, uh, 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 your tasting notes, okay? More clarity compared to Gorilla Gear. And the Gorilla Gear give you a little bit more body to it. Uh, uh, all the tasting note is there, but it's more kind of like robust, okay? Robust. Okay, and the hashtag ask me, uh, how about change your internet provider? I only have one option in this area, Cox. That's it. So Cox is it. And uh, I do have a central link. Central link is pretty lame. I mean, that's worse than Cox. So yeah, unfortunately, Cox, yeah. All right, folks, I hope you guys, I, I hope this video helps, okay? If you're thinking about getting uh, birds, all right, uh, do some research. They got a lot of videos on internet as well, but again, HU will uh, give you that more separation of flavor through HU. Uh, Gorilla Gear Burst, so far, okay, uh, give you more body to it. The flavor, you can taste all the tasting notes, but more clear with high uniformity SSP Burst. So it all depends on what you like. And so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to be compare, comparing with uh, Gorilla Gear versus the Cast. Okay, Cast has a lot of body to it, so it should be a lot of fun. Okay, folks, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.